Hello everybody and welcome to my fourth HTML tutorial and this tutorial is just going to go into how you start to style the actual body of your web page. So I'm just going to use a few different simple stylings. So in here I'm just going to have hello world, hello country, uh, hello universe. So we've got three different pieces of text. If we save this and then refresh our web page and then it's just going to put them out. Now notice even though I've put them on different lines in my text editor on here in my web page it's not actually put in the different lines in and that's because in HTML we actually have to signify that we want to have a page break in our code. So to do this if you just put a new tag in, so this is just forward slash br, which stands for break. And if we put these in and press save and then refresh, and then it's going to put them on a new line for us. So just make sure you remember that because that's quite important. So every time you need to put a new line, you can use the forward slash break. Uh, a lot of the time you don't actually want to use that because you want it to be a different paragraph say so normally your text is just happy to go across the screen and then you only want to actually jump down when there's a new paragraph so for each paragraph we have what we, what you do is you just start off the paragraph with a p tag and then at the end of your paragraph put in a forward slash p tag and then what this does is it will make this particular uh, this particular anything between them is one paragraph so if we make this so we have three paragraphs and then let's get rid of that break and just refresh this and then you notice that they're spread spread out a bit more spread out than the breaks are, uh, and that's because they they have a different paragraph. So if we type a lot more text in here, so let's just put in some random jargon and press save. And then when we refresh this, then when it's when it hits the end of whatever element it's in, it's just gonna fill across onto the next line for us as a paragraph and so that's the difference between when you use the two different ones so let's say we've got this paragraph and we want this bit to go down onto the next line but we don't want it to be a new paragraph so here we can use the forward slash break and then refresh this and then it's still showing in the, in the same paragraph it's just the hello world is at the top so that's the basics of putting your paragraphs in what now if we want actually this to be a header so we want it to be a little bit bigger so let's get rid of this and let's put that block of random text in its own paragraph and then our hello world at the top we want to be a header so what you use for your header tags is a h and then a number between one and three and then forward slash h1 just to signify the end of the header. So the easiest way to show you what this does is just to uh, show you, so refresh this and then now it's just going to give you in nice big writing it's going to make it so that it goes down onto the next line it's just the same as a paragraph does so it's going to split the two up and it's going to make it bold as well so you've got you've got three different types of header. You've got H two and then you've got H three as well as well. If we save that and then refresh our web page and then you, you notice that they're all pretty much the same concepts, it's just that the H one is really big and then when you get to H three it's it's not as big as it was before. So that's how you would use headers and how you use paragraphs. Uh, there's a few more uh, kind of styling 
tags I want to show you uh, but I'm going to go through those all in the next tutorial so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial